Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry I skipped a few days, more than just a few, but, you know, things come up, and I always say in my videos, sometimes I have a bit of a, la a lapse of a week or so, but I really apologize, but you know what? When you wait a little bit, you get good cars, and what I mean by good cars, I mean rare cars too. This, to me, is a very rare van. I'm not sure by looking at it, you understand, you know what car it is. Even the base, it's in a different language. You know, the black base below the car, it's in a different language. But you know what? I like these. I like when I find die-cast cars that I've never seen in my life, that I don't know what they are. But it's rare. But you know what? They look good in my collection because they're part of the automobile industry history. What are we looking at right now, guys? If you're not Russian, or you probably if you're not from Eastern Europe, you don't know what it is. But this is a, it's called Lada Nadeshda. And if I mispronounced it, I'm so sorry. I do not speak Russian. But also, they also call them the Vaz 2120. Now, this is a Russian minivan. Uh, believe it or not, it was made between 1998 and 2006. This was actually the first model, the first generation. I think uh, they probably re remodeled them. I don't know. I don't know the exact dates when they remodeled them, but I know this was the the first edition. The second one has a bit of a front, more more like a. Uh, if you remember the Chevrolet Lumina, the front was a little bit more slanted. That's the way it looks a bit more in the in the second generation. This is more of a of a front, but then it goes down right, right away with a with a quad headlights, two and two each side. But it's, it looks like a practical van, you know. It's not a mo unfortunately Russian cars back in the days. They were not very modern. They'll be backed up in their in their model years with the with the amenities that other cars had, other brands ha had, but um, hey, it worked for their families, it worked for their car industry, so it's okay. You know, we cannot, we have to understand that not every country in the world has the same standards when it comes to automobiles. Example, a very good example was the airbags. If you remember, airbags were not mandatory. It was only literally mandatory in North America and Europe until like recently. And now they're like mandatory all over the world. But for many, many years, they weren't. Now going to this example, I never seen one in, one in person, but I've seen a few pictures of them. And it looks really, really good. Uh, this is actually from, a, by the way, this is a 143 scale, guys. 143 scale. It's from a collection from Diagostini that came out. They're actually, right now, they're running their their um, their lineup, <laughs> if you say that. And this is one of them. This is like the modern Russian cars that came out with. Modern, I guess, is after, you know, the... The Berlin Wall, you know, the whole breakup of the USSR and all that. But talking about this car, I, I like the front. It's weird. It's different. The back, it's okay. It looks like uh, just another minivan. But the front with those quad headlights, it kind of doesn't really, it doesn't really match other cars that I'm trying to remember. Maybe if you let me know in the comments what you guys think. It's a practical van. I'm looking inside. It has a lot of seats for it. It doesn't look like it's a big, big van. It looks like a, like a minivan, probably the size of a of a Honda Odyssey or a Mazda MPV or you know Kia Sedona, probably probably a little smaller than that. Probably a little smaller, but it, I'm not sure how basic it is. I see they don't they didn't really have no alloy wheels so when you see that they already come out very basic but hey you know if, if it works for your for what you need it 
if you want to travel with your family and there's not many options out there and this is probably one of the cheapest options and it works fine bring it on if it car if the car is good it's good don't matter you know one time I heard that it doesn't matter what brand it is it matters how well you take care of your car and that's something very true you you may have a Toyota you may have a Honda but if you do not do the basic checkups on your car it will not last long because it can it cannot run on, on its own you have to also take care of your car so probably if you have a Lada or a Dacia or you know back in the days those cars that were probably considered cheap but if you take care of them they'll last to you they may need a little bit more maintenance in re involved but if you take care of them it will last one thing I can see I can see right now through the window that there's barely any cargo space because the back seat the third row because it has three rows the third row is literally touching the glass the back seat so I'm already seeing the back either you have to flip down the seats which I'm not sure if it does but um, hey at least you could you could bring all your family with you uh, there, by the way the engine they're very basics they're 1.7 or 1.8 79 horsepower small engine no automatic only five speed um manual but you know it's fine it worked for you it worked for you all right guys let me go, let, I'm gonna let it go around a few times so you have a nice look at the car and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so, you know, I'm back. What do you guys think about this car? Do you find them quite weird? Do you Can you compare this model to a different model that you're more familiar with? Do you find them kind of um, a resemblance with a different model that you may say, hey, you know, hmm, that kind of looks like that one, too? I really don't, like I said... But um, it looks alright, it looks cool with me. Now, if you are from Eastern Europe or Russia itself, do you remember these cars? Do you still have them on the roads? How reliable were them? You know, have you ever driven one of them? Have you ever owned one of them? And if you still do, let me know how good they are. Or you're like me, you're on the other side of the road and you collect them. And you saw this collection and you say, hey, I may not never seen this car, but it looks cool and it looks it will look cool with my other collections. And that's me. <laughs> I may not I'm I, I'm having a little bit too much diecast already. the diecast fever is gonna is going up the roof. <laughs> okay guys, do not forget to give me that nice thumbs up. It really really helps and I appreciate it. Don't forget to click and subscribe. You know the whole the whole deal with that. When you click and subscribe, uh, you will let you will follow me for more videos, which are coming very very soon. 
and also click the bell next to the subscribe button where it will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.